I'm Jay with AV News, and we're here in Las Vegas for CES 2025, the biggest convention in the nation, all about tech, AI, future technology, sustainability. So much to do, so much to see. Let's check it out. I'm here with MTS Company to learn about their new solution. You guys have an innovation award as well. Hi, I'm Jay with Aving News. I'm Lynn. Lynn, from pleasure. MTS. Can you tell me a little about your company and the solution you're showing today? Yes, uh, MTS Co. is uh, specialized in developing the AI-powered uh, solution, especially designed for the healthcare uh, healthcare uh, um, application. Okay. So we largely focus on the cancer. Okay. Uh, so we brought the two major product, exciting product. One is the AI Doc Mobile Corposcope which she uh, screened, uh -huh. designed for screen the cervical cancer. Okay. And then another uh, more sophisticated uh, the platform, which is the AI, AR uh, platform, which allow us to uh, analyze more sophisticated, uh, detailed um, uh, analysis for the cancer. Okay. So we are talking about the 10 different uh, the cancer uh, for the analysis. Uh, furthermore, uh, this platform can uh, predict the uh, lymph node metastasis so that uh, the clinician doesn't have to go through the surgery unnecessarily on the patients. Okay. That's uh, very significant uh, for the, the outcome uh, of the health for the patients. So we thought that we, we are so proud of the adding this uh, feature in this platform. Very cool. So we're looking at an AI healthcare solution. Mm -hmm. Specifically, this one is focusing on cervical, cervical cancer. cancer and your main points were you're using a smartphone, first of all, to analyze the area of certain things. I see kind of these spots here. What we are saying is that some people don't need surgery, for example, oh, right? No, no, so I think I mixed up. Oh, so, sorry. So that, that was for the Oh, uh, that's for this one. Yeah. This one, okay. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay. Can, can, no, it's okay. Can you lead me through? We'll talk about both one okay, detail then. Yeah. What am I looking at here? So you are looking at the capture the image from the uh, cervical uh, area. Uh, okay. So as you can see, there is a, a camera attached to the smartphone. Right. So basically, uh, this software allow the uh, the capture the image in the cervical area. Okay. Uh, so what you can see is uh, the uh, the um, the captured image, and the white area is uh, uh, is uh, the abnormal. Um, okay. The abnormal uh, region. Sure. Uh, because it was a uh, whitewashed okay. with uh, some chemical, okay. so that indicate uh, uh, some amino something is going on with this area. Okay. And then, furthermore, this platform allows to identify the uh, the more potential um, the risky area, ah. so that clinician can um, the take the tissue for the further analysis. Okay. So, which is indicated as a um, the green. Uh, area. Okay, so the green spots here is specifically where a doctor would go in and do mm -hmm. a biopsy, correct? Yes. And before that, doctors, of course, they're experts, but they had to kind of choose, pick and choose the areas to do the biopsy. But what you're saying is this technology analyzes the best area to do the biopsy. Exactly. exactly. Okay, I'm understanding it now. I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a doctor, an expert in the field. So we have this one with the camera attached to a smartphone. And one more time, what solution are we looking at over here? Oh, so this is called the AI ARPA uh, platform. Okay. So this was uh, uh, built from the 20,000 patients. Wow. All this data, um, the, a whole scanned image okay. from 20,000 uh, patients. Uh, on top of that, uh, the, um, the hospital followed uh, some uh, follow-up study okay. on those uh, uh, patients. Uh, for the genetics and then um, the outcome of the, uh, the surgery okay. or the anti uh, anti cancer treatment. Okay. So all this data, uh, we were able to uh, build uh, this uh, uh, platform so that uh, this platform can uh, analyze a more sophisticated way mm -hmm. um, for the uh, cancer biomarker okay. and also predict the, um, the lymph node metastasis, which okay. is a big problem for the cancer um, the, um, patients. patients. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, so you have two healthcare solutions over here using AI technology. You're here at CES 2025. What is your big goal being here at this exhibition? Uh, we would like to... Um, introduce the, how great product we have okay and uh, we got a lot of a visitor uh, so especially this uh, uh, corposcopy was uh, 
uh, a lot of people were interested in colposcopy. I hope that this product uh, would be on the market so that a lot of the uh, uh, patient can have a benefit from that. And, and I see you have an Innovation uh, Award honoree as well. So a lot of people are really interested in this product. Or is this already available in Korea? No, not at this point. Okay. Uh, but uh, we will do further uh, study okay. with the uh, collaborate partners. And then hopefully we can do uh, the on the market. But we have to go through the, some uh, regulatory pathway. Sure, of course. Uh, after that, yeah, we, we definitely would like to uh, put it on the market. Great. Thank you for your time today. So we see a lot of AI being used in healthcare. This one specifically for cancer and what they have on display here, cervical cancer. They have two types of solutions here. If you guys want more information, more detailed information, come and check them out. We're at MTS Company. Thank you again for your time today. I appreciate it. Thank you.